Hey everybody, this is Joe Numbers, and I got another tutorial for you. I wanted to talk to you guys about something special on OBS Studio. I think you guys are going to enjoy this. This is called Image Fidelity. Um, I was following this guy that I'm about to show you guys. That this guy on Reddit, right here, Mr. Orem, was actually... Uh, he, he dropped this a long time ago, but I actually f found it and started reading it. Yes, I read. Now, check this out. I was going through and checking out everything that he had in his article, and one thing that stood out to me, which I never even thought about, was image fidelity. Now, what the heck is image fidelity? He gives a little bit of a description here. I'm going to drop this article in uh, the description if you guys want to check it out after, uh, during the video, after the video, whatever you want to do. But uh, image fidelity is a concept used when reproducing a compressed image. Since live streaming requires encoding and compression of a source image, there are going to be varying levels of faithfulness to the source or fidelity. Poor compression or failure to dedicate sufficient bitrate to the encoding will lead to low image fidelity. A good standard for image fidelity is a minimum of 0.1 bits per pixel. There is a formula for determining the bitrate needed to achieve the standard depending on the image size, resolution, and frame rate of your stream. Exactly. Now, I didn't even think about image fidelity. I didn't even know what it was until I read this. Now, why am I bringing this up? Because this is the reason why I have the settings that I have for my broadcast now. Now, check this out. Uh, 720p at 30 frames per second is what I broadcast at. And I wanted to show you here. CBR, 2,765 bitrate. It is a precise bitrate. Now check this out. I use I used to broadcast at 2,750 bitrate. 2,750 at faster. After I switched it to 2,765, which gave me, according to his math, 0 0.1 uh 0 0.1 was it bits per pixel i forget what it is uh yeah you'll figure it out but after that i went ahead and applied his math algorithm to mine i set it to very fast just like he has it on all of his settings here 2765 uh 720p 30 frames per second lo and behold i was actually surprised as to how much better the broadcast looked here's a good example i was playing uh uncharted 3 and i was actually surprised if you check out this video 2765 on very fast looks like this and i was very very surprised as to how good the broadcast looked not just on uh motion i mean sorry not just on quality of the picture but motion of the picture. I've always had issues where if there's a lot of turning, a lot of grass, a lot of things on screen going on at the same time, it can really drop the quality of the broadcast and it can make it look terrible. Now, using this guy's algorithm, I set it to 2765, tried it out, and this is what I got. I thought the picture was perfectly watchable. It looked, in my opinion, fantastic. It looked great. And I had no issues broadcasting at, at, at all i mean no drop frames no no extra issues you know the quality was just great the quality was great and i wanted to share this with you guys i'm going to drop a link to this reddit page you guys can check it out for yourself you can look at the requirements needed to be able to do certain uh bit rates certain resolutions and certain frames per second on this on the correct bit rate to be able to get the best picture possible. Now this will work very well for those who want to record as well and want, want to be able to figure out how much bitrate is needed to apply to it to be able to get the best picture possible without overkilling it, you know. But at the same time, you want to also take into account if you're a Twitch broadcaster, you have a, their maximum allowed on Twitch is 3,500 bitrate. 3,500. Unless you're partnered, I don't know if they get varying bit rates. I don't know how that works because I'm not partnered myself, but eh, maybe in the future. But YouTubers, you don't ever have to worry. They have like a setting of like you guys can go all the way up to 19 or 20 
uh, megabytes per second because every person on YouTube gets a quality changer so it turns down the quality if anybody has any issues watching. So, yep, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm going to drop a link to this tutorial in the description. Check it out for yourself. Let me know what you guys think. If you have any questions, go ahead and drop it in the comments, and I will see you guys later.